everyone. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to talk about acceptance and leadership through my story of being a club president for over three and a half years while I was in college. And there are lessons from that experience that I often go back to. And when I don't go back to them as often as I should, I realize my mistake and that that time in my life was actually really important for me to get to a better place for me as a person and for me as a person as part of this world. When we think about clubs in college, they're usually fun and exciting. And of course, the one that I took over was called Students for a Just and Stable Future, which was the political side of climate change. And that was the main focus. I wanted to be a lawyer when I graduated. I wanted to go to law school. So that was where a lot of that interest came from. And I wanted to focus on environmental health and protecting the environment. So it was a perfect combination of things for me. The current president of the club was graduating and nobody was actually in the club who wanted to take it over. So it was handed to me to figure out. I was also a sustainability intern. So that was where that opportunity came up because it was one of the sustainability clubs. And they're like, it's going to go under or one of you takes it over. So I took it over. I got it in touch with the current advisor and just wanted to see what it was about and it was up to me to create interest in this club again and to get people interested in a topic that most 18 year olds don't want to hear about the world people the climate and politics probably like the worst combination of things to get 18 year olds interested in it and it was a tough going around to get people interested in the club but there was about 15 people throughout the years that were consistently showing up. Sometimes it was less. Very often it was more, but uh, we did have a lot of help from other clubs. But the things that I learned was being a leader is so much more than you telling people what to do. And that it is truly about you showing up for people who decided to show up for you. I was very young, I was still a freshman at the time, and there were older people who were willing to show up, spend their time with me, and work towards this cause that I created. And I knew that it was a responsibility that I had to take seriously and that I had to dedicate a great deal of time to. And that is why leadership is so important. And whether you are a leader in your job or at home or wherever, you are a leader nonetheless. Whether you have children or not, whether you have people under you at work or not, you are a leader because you are leading yourself through this life. And you have to take on the responsibility of being a leader for yourself and making the right choices and sitting with emotions and being there for yourself. So you need to learn how to lead yourself. And this is really what this entire experience taught me. And one of the first things that I did was at my meetings, have this little exercise that we did together. And the question was, what is what do you love? What do you love? What does love mean for you in your life? And who do you love? What do you love? Whatever that sentence or question meant to you was the thing that you needed to answer. And uh, click the video, pause the video here and do it yourself. What do you love? Who do you love? What does it mean to you? And usually I would give them a few minutes and most of the time people would say I love my dog, I love the sunset because it was an environmental club. They love the being out in nature, they love the ocean, um, they love going to school, all sorts of things. And it was great. I would let them share if they were willing to share. If they didn't, that was perfectly fine too. And I had them write this on one of their notes apps or like on a piece of paper that they could keep. And then I followed up with the following question. If I gave you another 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 years, would you ever put yourself down as one of the things that you love? And a lot of people were shocked by that kind of mindset. And they were like, what do you mean? Love myself? And that was my main point and I told them what we talk about here is not easy. We're going to talk about the devastation of the world and what is actually happening. The truths that people don't want to look at. I need you to be in a place where you can show up for yourself and care about yourself so that you can actually spend the time and be in the mindset where you can do this. And that was really the starting point of me understanding what it meant to be in a leadership position and that I was guiding them through something really difficult and I was also guiding myself through that 
and I prepared every week to have these presentations and I said we're gonna get to that we're gonna talk about how clothing and food and all of that is affecting the environment but I want you to know that the first person that you have to care the most about is yourself because you can't help anyone if you're not in a good place if you are letting the conversations that we're having get to you at a deeper level I need you to take a step back and focus on yourself and get the help that you need and talk to people and I always tell them I'm always available if anybody ever needs somebody to talk to or if you need help with getting to somebody that you can feel open to talk to I am here for you but I need you to be the first advocate for yourself and we can advocate for the world but if we don't advocate for ourselves we can't actually show up for anyone else and that was something that I did at the beginning of every year and then I started to do it at the beginning of every term just to have us reset and be like we talked about a lot of difficult things last term over the last few months what are you going through and how are you dealing with it what are the ways that you are taking care of yourself are you going for walks are you making sure that you are actually eating and not studying and just rushing through it at the same time are you drinking enough water are you hanging out with your friends are you having fun where is your time going and there was a lot of people who really needed that reset and I of course needed it as much as possible too and there was in my junior year a time where I was so involved with really dark work that I was doing and I had this break where I was like I have to stop this and then for six weeks I didn't do anything in regards to the club climate change my major I just it was the summer so I technically could take a break but I realized after watching a video from Greta Thunberg after those six weeks that I had to find that balance and this was something that I had been talking about for so long so the fact that there are things that we are talking about and that we are prioritizing and that even then it's still difficult to have that be the thing that you go back to but you have to focus on yourself and ask yourself the questions that you need to what are you going through how are you dealing with it who are you talking to about it and if you're not talking to anyone should you be and I allowed anybody to talk to me I gave them my phone number the first day if anybody ever need anything there was a few people who reached out over the years um, just to talk and one of the people that uh, I was really close to was somebody who became fairly dependent on me and that was something that I had to figure out too that hey I'm not actually therapist I'm not actually somebody that can handle much deeper than hey how are you and I'll listen to you if you need something so I had to make sure that I was constantly going back to these structures that are put in place for us to be better and to do better so that was how I always started out those sessions at the beginning of the terms and just to get a reset what are you doing for yourself and that would that is what being a leader is about it is to show other people that they have to show up for themselves and that I am there to also show up for them and to remind them of that as much as possible and that is really just the thing and at the end of the day it was my responsibility to make sure that the club moved in a certain direction to show up to events to create events as necessary and that I had to put in the work to have something to present every week and I watched probably 60 documentaries in my time as being president and those were two and a half three hour documentaries that I watched and then there was plenty of other material that I would read or that I would engage with and bring lessons from those into the conversations that I would have with people at the club and it would be different themes and what they always came back to was this idea that you have power over your own life and that you have the responsibility to share with yourself and with others what you've learned and to make it digestible for them. I would watch a two and a half hour documentary and then I'd have a 10 minute presentation. I had to pull out what was important and not skip over the other parts that are equally as important. There's the dull moments during a documentary or the slow moments and to not rush over that while we had these conversations as well. So I'd speak for 10, 15 minutes and then I'd let them tell me what they were thinking or what they were going through. And I also had to make sure that I was giving them the space to do that, that I had authority and responsibility and power, but that I was just as much there for them as they were there for me. And I had to respect their decision to spend an hour with me every week and to show up once again. And some people 
were very consistent. Some people came and went, but it was that that came became very important and that really became the place where I fell in love with presenting and sharing information and public speaking. That's something a lot of people don't like, but I really did enjoy while I was in school because I was able to connect with people and to share with them and to let them know that the power lived within them and that it was them that was going to change their life and therefore the world. And that is how a lot of things came from, but it was from that one decision to step up to be the president of this club that was about to die out and to bring it back to life and to realize it wasn't just me that was doing it. It was all the people who decided to show up. And that is where leadership is often lost is that you work for them and that you are there for them to grow and to become better. And that is what you are doing when you decide to take on that role that I could share what I wanted, but I needed them to engage back with me and to share what they thought and to create a safe space and an open space to do that and to not judge them and to not be quick. And that I had spent many hours by the time of my junior, senior year working with this material and that some people were brand new. Some people didn't understand it. They had questions. They had roadblocks that they were going through and to be open to sit with them and to talk through it with them which is where a lot of the activism that I did also came in to play. I actively talked about various things that were going on with climate change, and I had to do it from a place of wanting to create an understanding between people, wanting to create a bridge instead of trying to push people off and take a place of, oh, I know better. And I very much knew as being the president, I didn't know better than anyone in that room. I just may have spent more time with certain material than other people, and that didn't make me an authority on the subject either way and that their opinions and thoughts were valuable and they needed to be shared in order for them to develop and to change if you don't share you can't grow and that was really important and that was why I wanted to take on this challenge and I honestly don't even remember. I think the cl club just died out with me again. I don't know if I was able to pass it on to anyone. I don't think so. I really can't remember. This was only like four years ago now, but I can't remember. It was a great time. I think I gave it back to the sustainability office and had them take it over again. But at least when I was there, I was able to share with people and to grow with them. And politics and climate change are very difficult topics. So being open and creating that space was really important to me. And I think everything that we do in life should be the exact same as we should be creating these spaces for people to trust us and to share with us and to also know when you're reaching your max point and to not be pushed over it constantly. And when you are to forgive yourself for that and be like, you're doing what you can, you're doing your best and that that's okay too. And that we need to keep going. And that was really the thing that I had to keep going back to was, where are these boundaries and how are we going to put them into place? I had to learn a lot and I had to grow a lot, but I ultimately, I worked for the people who showed up for me and that I was in a position of service to the people who spent their time with me and to being an intern and to being an ambassador of this idea. And I actually ended up becoming uh, a major and a mission ambassador. So I had like a lot of jobs in college. I could talk about that someday too. But I always wanted to show people that there was a deeper meaning behind the work that we did and that at the end of the day, it was up to us to create that meaning and to live it out everywhere we went. And now that back to school season is coming up, I keep thinking back on those times because I keep being like, oh, I didn't really like college as much, but there was definitely things that I thoroughly enjoyed about being in college and just being a person who got to explore my own world and got to explore the world itself and I got to go to Europe and to Africa while I was in school and I got to I got to share a lot and I got to bring people in with me and that was the most important thing that everything I did was to bring people together as much as I could and to share with people and to connect with people and to understand none of us can do it alone. We have to do it together. And to be a person who leads, you are understanding that this is the responsibility you're deciding to take on and that you're moving through the world with and you have to take it seriously and that it is going to change you as a person if you allow it to and it will move you forward, but you have to 
take the time to listen, to learn, to grow, and to accept that you are not the person that started this journey and acceptance throughout. I had to accept that I didn't know the answers to every question that people posed to me and to get okay with being asked questions that were difficult to answer and to be willing to open up to how I deal with certain things. And that would always be the first thing that I would say when I did the what do you love um, exercise is I would start off with like, it's hard to deal with this stuff. And I do it every day, all the time. And it is still something that I struggle with because when you see that much hurt in the world, it affects you because you're a person. And I always told them that is not something that makes you weak. It's something that makes you strong because despite having to deal with difficult emotions, you keep showing up and that that's really important. And accepting that everyone around me was going through their own journey and then they were showing up as much as they could. And to with acceptance does come that realization that everybody is going through this life for the first time and that we are all doing what we can with what we have at the time that we have it and that that acceptance doesn't necessarily always mean forgiveness or that you're going to forget or that you're okay with what happened but accepting that this is what I could do and I showed up as best as I could and that really leadership is acceptance because you're accepting things all the time you're like I can't do anymore I tried they didn't understand they didn't get it but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna accept that this was the best that I could do at that time, but it's not going to be the thing that I can always, it's not the level that I can reach for the rest of time if I keep trying, if I keep putting in the effort. So it's about acceptance and pursuit. You're pursuing being a better version of yourself, learning more, sharing more, caring more, and that that all comes with boundaries. I had to realize I couldn't care about every single person's problem in the world and all of the work that I was doing. I only have so much bandwidth to do it and that was really an important lesson and one that I continue to learn to say, you know what, like this is as far as this can go, this conversation, this topic that we can divulge in and there was times where we would show documentaries and, you know, have like two people show up to the screenings. but. I always said every single person is another opportunity for you to change their ability to communicate about this subject and to understand it and to bring them one step closer to where you are or for both of you to get closer to a new destination that is in the middle or somewhere completely different. But you have to be open to it and there was a lot of people that I met who demanded people be perfect and I would always say it is progress we are trying to get here it is not anything else we are trying to progress with ourselves as people with our politics to some extent but most importantly ourselves the community and what we can do right now we would we would go for various events where people would be protesting and I would always say this is great but if you are not in a space where you can do this or you're not doing this for the right reasons, you're super mad, you're annoyed with everyone, then you shouldn't be doing it. It needs to come from the right place in order for us to be able to move forward. And it was about leading people in the sense of you're not teaching them anything, you're not forcing them to do anything. You're leading them to help empower themselves. They need to empower themselves to do better and to be better and that you are simply leading the way that you think you can or or are able to and that that is it and it's a lot of acceptance that there is certain things you can and can't do and that you will be able to achieve and that you won't be not being able to pass the club off to somebody or grow it to the level that i thought that i could was difficult but i had to accept that i did what i could with what i had at the time and i loved it it meant a lot to me and is something that will be near to me for a long time because I I did the thing, I talked to people, I changed the way at least a few people thought about this world and from my understanding it was for the better. And that is really all that you can do. So have you had an experience at college or in life where you had to step up as a leader and what did it mean for you and how do you view other leaders? I didn't I didn't talk about that as much but the way other people choose to lead or choose not to lead, really from this filter 
does change my view about how people are moving through this world. And it's difficult to see that a lot of people aren't able to step up and really do for the world that they should be. So I hope you got something out of today's video. Let me know when you've had to step up as a leader and what it taught you down below and just go and enjoy life. And in every moment you're a new version of yourself and you get to decide which version that's going to be. So I will see you soon. I hope you have an amazing day and yeah, we'll talk soon.